hands down out and he said, let's get ready to rumble. Anybody know what I'm telling you too? Are you all ready to rumble? Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to go get your stuff back? Are you ready to rumble? How many folk ready to rumble? You tired of the devil. You tired of him. And you ought to tell the devil, I'm ready to rumble. I'm ready to get it back. I'm ready to fight. I'm not going to take it no more. I've already took too much. I'm ready to rumble. Hey, glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I'm ready to rumble. Do I have a witness? Anybody over here ready to rumble? Well, let me hear you say it. Tell the devil I'm ready to rumble. Anybody over here ready to rumba? Let me hear you tell the devil I'm ready to rumba. Anybody over here ready to rumba? I said, are you ready to rumba? Well, let me hear you tell the devil you're ready to rumba. Come on, everybody. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to rumba. My God, my God. And David, they didn't just have enough for themselves. They didn't just have enough for to give them other people something. The other 200. The Bible said there were 13 more, country, 13 more uh, nations in the area where David was going. And David gave all of them enough to get a start. My God. Point to yourself and say, I shall recover all. Oh, I, I wish I had some good saints here. Some saints that are not scared to rumble. And point to yourself and say, Devil, I'm coming after you. I'm going to get my stuff. Oh, Jesus, y'all sound like you're scared. Y'all scared? I, I need somebody that's really bold to just stand up and say, Devil, I'm coming after my stuff. I'm going to get everything. I'm going to get everything. I'm going to get everything. I'm going to get it all. I'm going to get everything. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Tell the devil, I'm not coming by myself. I got Jesus on the inside. I got the Holy Ghost on the inside. I got God and his angels all around me. Tell the devil I can't lose with the stuff I got. Because the stuff I got is not carnal. But the strength is my God is not carnal, but my God has got a lot of things. His mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. I'm coming back. I'm coming after my house. I'm coming after my money. I'm coming after my children. I'm coming after my grandchildren. I'm coming after everything that you've taken from me. Say yes. My God. Stand your feet, everybody. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. This is what God told me today. Thank you, Jesus. 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 I don't know. I don't know how many people did the circle last week. I told you to make a circle. And inside the circle, I want you to put everything you wanted God to do for you. If you didn't do it last week, do it again. Make a circle, just a circle. In there, put what you want God to do for you. And every day, praise God and thank God for the answer for at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. I know it works. Anybody, anybody else here that want to raise their hand? Last week you wrote, you drew the circle. There's one. Is there another person? There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. There's six. There's seven. I wish I had time to let all y'all testify. I'll, I'll probably get to a few of you in a minute. But I drew the circle myself. Because I believe God, I'm not going to tell you to do something I wouldn't do. And Ella Porter, my wife and I went off for three days. And just before we left, just before we left, I was thinking, should I get this money out the bank? I may need it for something else. And I came and got a letter. No name, no address, no return address. Open it up enough money for me and my wife to go on vacation and it says to Dr. and Sister Hardin. Yes. You know what it said? Yes. I left Kim a copy. A cashier's check. I mean, I didn't have to worry about rubber in the check. <laughs> a 
a cashier's check that covered 90% of our expense. And I know, I wrote this message before I left. And I know God had been doing some things for me. And then God brought back to my attention. That's why I know we're going to recover all. He brought back to my attention. In 2000, 2000, had a car accident. And it pulled this arm out of socket. Tore the ligament off my shoulder. And when they operated on it, the doctor didn't put the ligament back on the shoulder. And the muscle was out without attaching to anything for one year. And it had strength. And I couldn't hardly raise my arm up. But now I'm able to do it and get it up there. Not all the way, sometime. But it was, and it made me put more pressure, you know, when you have a problem on one side. It makes you overuse the other side. And so I overused this side because this arm right here, this right arm, for 30 years, no, for 40 years almost, is the arm that my wife slept in most of the time. Man, when this arm went out, you know it's a great loss, brothers. I wish I had at least one man to say amen. That's a great loss when they can't sleep in your arm no more. Because it hurts. It hurt it so bad. But the last three months, it's been better and better and better and better and better. I can sleep on it and it's not hurting. And I thank God. That's why I know you're going to recover all. You're going to recover all. You didn't just, not, this isn't just about money, but this is about your health. It's about your strength. It's about your mind. There's some things sometimes that depression can come on you. These children can do stuff that can blow your mind. I wish I had one or two people say amen. amen. But God is going to give you your mind back. He's going to do this thing. I know he's going to do it. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell them money is coming. Oh, uh, y'all ain't saying it like that. I said money is coming. Look at somebody else and tell them it's already here. Now here's all we're going to do today, except I'm going to ask in a few minutes to get to somebody who needs to be saved. But here's all I want. If you don't want this, you don't have to come. But I want you to come to the altar, and we're coming to the altar, and I want us to praise God for five minutes for everything that you're going to ask him for and put in your circle. You asked him for it this week. God is getting ready to do it. So I want you now to come to this altar and just come down and get ready to praise God for five, five minutes here. We're going to friend with God. And my God, God is going to answer some prayer. God going to give folks some job. God going to open up some ways. God going to heal some bodies. Just, 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 just come on down. Just come on down. Just come on down. If you want to, you want to believe it, come on down. Watch what God's going to do. We just going to praise Him for five or six minutes. That's all we're doing for five or six minutes. Just going to praise Him. Just going to praise Him. Just going to praise Him. Praise Him like you praise Him. Praise Him like you praise Him. Praise Him like you praise Him. Nobody ought to have to prompt you. Just praise God. Just praise God. Praise Him. Praise Him. Come on and praise him. Praise him. Come on and 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 praise him. God's going to give you a breakthrough. God's going to give you a breakthrough. God is 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 going to give you a breakthrough. You're going to recover all. You're going to recover all. You're going to recover all. 
Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless every one of them. Every one of them. Meet every need, God. Oh, God, those that are calling on me. Meet every need. Meet every need. Meet every need. Every need. Every need. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Anything that devil stole, God give it back to me. Anything that devil stole, God give it back to me. Anything that devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that devil stole, God give it back to me. All right. On your way back to your seat, I want you to high five three or four people and tell them, I'm going to recover can't all. Take my joy. I'm going can't to recover take my all. peace. I'm going can't to recover take my all. Heart. I'm getting it I all. I want back. everything. Anything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Can't have my joy. Can't have my peace. Can't have my faith. Can't have my faith. I want everything. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. Everything that the devil stole, God give it back to me. brother, she going to be fine. God sent you here today to release some stuff, to release some stress, things that you've been going through. He sent you here today to let you know that he's going to give it. You're going to recover. You're going to make it. It will not be like it has been. You're going to get a good night's sleep for the first time in a long time. God going to give it to you tonight. You shall recover all. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Listen to me now. There may be somebody here that don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And what we're doing may look like it's crazy, and it is crazy because we're going against the norm. But if you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, there's a lot of decisions we have to make in our life. Some good, some bad, some indifferent. But this is one decision you ought not to put off. And that is the decision to accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. You'll find it'll be the best decision you ever made, that you ever made. Is there one here today that don't know Christ as your Lord and your Savior?